Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at Virtual Pinball in general. Virtual Pinball and the future of, and what are we going to get in 2021? So there are a lot of questions I've seen come by with my reviews about, let's say, Virtual Pinball machines in general. So in this video, I want to dedicate what can we do with Virtual Pinball, what are our options, and what can you get for your money. So in this video, I just want to cover everything. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become one of the Wake family because I have a lot of great stuff coming up when it comes to pinball reviews and virtual pinball reviews. And yeah, man, you're going to miss it out otherwise. When you're going to search for virtual pinball on YouTube, there is so much you can find. And I'm assuming when you're searching videos like this, they are interested in virtual pinball. In this video, I just want to explore the virtual pinball world and try to cover as so much as possible. So for, the, for example, we're going to talk about virtual pinball kits, kits that you can buy and you can also be creative and build your own machine from scratch. And there are some new machines coming out that makes virtual pinball very affordable and very fun to do. So this is what we're going to talk about today. In the future, we're going to talk about more virtual pinball and hoping we can make more reviews because there is a lot of new developments. And I think virtual pinball will be affordable for everybody to play nowadays, or better said, in 2021. All right, so let's say you want to build your own machine. You don't want to buy something that is ready or plug and play or a complete kit. So I did found this site called Game Room Solutions that sells quite some interesting products or complete kits. For example, we're having here the 43 inch virtual pinball cabinet. So if you want to have a full size cabinet, like a full size pinball machine back in the 90s, or just want to have a virtual pinball machine in a full size, he has some very nice prices as i'm checking it out 649 so this is more like a basic kit you can see you have some extra options but nevertheless you can make this extra kit but you need to take consideration you're going to need a pc and monitors dmg and you name it you need to have it all so if you want to have more like this fusion or this combination you can buy yourself a 24 inch table kit so you can play arcade games but also have the option to play some virtual pinball and i think it's a pretty good option and you just want to have something compact you have this bar top and this bar the 24 inch tabletop i think it's pretty cool so it's a very nice idea to get yourself a virtual pinball machine with two displays and take consideration you need to have some knowledge of the software but hey this is a kit you can get you're ready to go you only need to have the parts like the pc the monitors and all the other stuff but it's just an easy way to go to if you want to build yourself a kit and you don't have the knowledge to build the kit yourself with some extra options, it will get a bigger price. But in the end, if you can make the kit yourself, maybe this is a great way to go to. So next up, I just want to talk about the Sharpen. Sharpen is a great way to start if you want to build something yourself. Take consideration, there are some different kits out there. We're having the normal, we're having the ultra kit. Depends all more like what kind of games you want to play on it. It's based on Android, so it's basically an Android box inside and Sharpen or a bar top virtual pinball machine. But still you can play a lot of great games like Virtual Pinball from Pinball FX or Arc Williams Arcade. There are so many cool things you can do with this. But take into consideration that these things are still a little bit more expensive than the previous stuff that I've shown you. Because this is just a complete kit. With monitor, encoder boards, TV box, you name it. You can just put it together. And there is not a lot of installation required. And you can just play your Virtual Pinball games. And I think it is a really cool gateway to get into Virtual Pinball with a low budget. Otherwise, when you're going to build yourself a machine, it can go up in the thousands of euros or dollars. So that's something you need to take consideration. So Sharpen, I think it's just more like the next step. If you want to have this complete kit and you just want to do an assembly and you just want to play and learn a bit more about virtual pinball. Okay, so you don't want to buy a kit. You don't want to build one yourself. And when it comes to ready to go pinball machines, now in 2021, there is a lot of development that makes it accessible for everybody. And the reason why I'm saying accessible, because not everybody has a budget for four, five thousand dollars to build or better said to make a cabinet or buy one straight from somebody else. Okay, so let's start with the full size and the wide body versions. So nowadays from China, you can buy these virtual pinball machines ready to go. If you're going to buy them straight from China, it's possible, but take in consideration that the, I don't know exactly what kind of software they are using, but experience will not be like I'm having with my own machine that I build. 
with pinna popper and vpx10 maybe in the future they will improve it and just give you a ready to go machine but another thing is these things are freaking expensive and not even to start about the shipping so that is something you need to take consideration maybe you can buy it in your local shop because there are a lot of great ways and a great shops you can buy a virtual pinball machine so the next step what you can do is get yourself a virtual pinball machine from your local shop they are from china but most of them they were modified you need to ask of course the company so with the company here in the netherlands called custom arcades he did a modification with his cabinet he's selling all kinds of cabinets from china but with his version the virtual pinball machine he slapped a pc in it and he basically added some new software so you can play vpx10 tables and still have a very great experience when it comes to virtual pinball and the next level what we can do is go to a store like retroplay from austria and he makes these custom virtual pinball machines i think this is more like even the next level above when it comes to virtual pinball machines full size so this is also a great way to play but this is more like for the people who have a very big budget and just want to have everything that comes with virtual pinball and have a custom machine for their collection I own myself a virtual pinball machine with these measurements and the reason I'm saying these measurements simply because this is not a full size table. I really like to have more like a smaller table that is way more convenient to place in your room and doesn't take up all that space. It's just big enough to have a great experience and not to forget in 2021 a lot of new companies will deliver new kinds of versions that are even smaller or just bigger like this machine but more like the same measurements. And I think that's just a great way to play for adults, but also for children. And in the end, when you're having, a, let's say, a same kind of measurements like this, I think this is going to be a really great way to play virtual pinball machines. But with the new machines coming out, there are quite some different versions. But take in consideration, if you want to render 4K gaming virtual pinball X, you're going to need to have a pretty damn beefcake of a PC. And at least you need a 1080 Ti from Nvidia or an i3, i5 intel cpu so take consideration when you're building or buying one it will not be cheap simply because the components are so freaking expensive the displays but also the pc that inside and all the components is just one big spaghetti here on the video but i can tell you when you're putting them together and everything you need to buy it all separately it's going to be freaking expensive i just wanted to show you with an expensive machine 4k so let's talk about the new machines that are coming and what can we expect with those Alright, so let's stick with the tiny machines, but there are some great options out there for ready to play pinball machine. But this is nothing to be compared with the machine I'm having here, the 4K edition. This is more like 1080p, some are running on 30 frames. As far as I know, this version, the first generation, were running on 30 frames. Come concluded with some godly tables. A little shout out to my buddy Retro Ralph for using this footage. And the reason why I just wanted to show you is that it's a great way. I really love the measurements of the pinball machine, but it is quite limited and you don't have the experience with the 4K. But this is more like if you want to have virtual pinball, you don't want to spend tons of money on it. I think this can be a great way to go. So as you can see, he is showing that there are quite some different options and there are quite some different tables out there. And the gameplay is, so far I understand of his videos, pretty decent. It's a fun way to start playing, but if you want to have a 4K with 60 FPS experience, this is not a really great way to go to. It doesn't include a touchscreen, so what you can see is that you can't touch it, you need a button at the front. But let's say you want to get into virtual pinball, but you also really like modifications. And you don't want to buy a kit, so maybe this can be an awesome great way. And my buddy Retro Ralph also did a modification with this cabinet. So yeah, Retro Ralph also made a modification of the Haunted House Virtual Pinball Machine. He made it in Terminator 2. I think he did a complete overhaul of this Virtual Pinball Machine. But that is another thing I just wanted to show you. That if you're buying a cheap pinball machine and you're thinking after some time, I'm done with this. I just want to make a completely different system. You have a great basic cabinet where you can do some modification with. Okay, take in consideration that he did a lot of modifications. Like he added a second screen. He replaced the main display with a 60 FPS version because 60 FPS is, in my opinion, just the perfect way to go to. Otherwise, it's not going to give you the perfect, let's say, virtual pinball experience. As you can see over here, he also used a quite an expensive but a gaming rig inside a virtual pinball machine. But because there is no way to otherwise render 4K or 1080p on high graphics with virtual pinball 10 or VPX 10, nevertheless. 
I think it's more like oh, just an other way you can approach this virtual pinball that you're going to buy yourself a cabinet from a manufacturer and you can upgrade it and modify it yourself. Take also consideration that not only the PC but the decals, the extra displays, everything put together. You need to have some knowledge about everything but it's going to be inexpensive but it is way cheaper than the machine that I built myself. But okay, so let's take a close look at some other devices that I think are quite interesting in the future 2021 and what kind of option we're going to get with Virtual Pinball. So as you can see with all the pinball machines they are going to release in 2021, I think the Legit Pinball is one very interesting product. And the reason why is very simple. The measurements are almost identical to the pinball machine I'm having here that costs around 3-4k. The Legend Pinball, I think these were around $1,000, $900, depends a little bit where you buy it, of course, and how is the shipping, etc, etc. But when you're looking at the specifications, not only the measurements, this device comes with two displays built in. That is something you don't see very often with similar products. Most of them have one display or maybe with an DMD like the Arcade 1UP. But the Virtual Pinball of Ed Games, what I think is really interesting, not only includes a lot of different tables and a 32 inch display and a Xbox LCD, it also has the option to maybe add new games. The pinball machine will include a plunger and all the necessary buttons and it even has an, uh, let's say more like a fake coin door over here. So I think that is also pretty cool. So when you're looking at all the pinball solutions we're going to get in 2021, I think Legend Pinball can be a very interesting product that you can buy worldwide. But let me know in the comments what do you think of the ad games or what kind of pinball machine are you looking for. I really love to know guys because there is so much development, so much uh, stuff that's coming out. But I just want to highlight the, let's say more like the different models and what are the options that we're going to get in the future. Okay guys, so this was more like a quick overview of virtual pinball. What can you do? Where can you get it? What kind of options do you have? And what is the experience you really like to have? Nevertheless, I hope I covered enough for you guys so you have a better idea what you're going to get. I did some full reviews about virtual pinball. I will guide you to the playlist over here that you can see and you can find some more reviews about virtual pinball to give you more better ideas about the product that I've reviewed. I want to thank you for watching. Hey, consider subscribing to the channel, become one of the Wicked family and it will be great to have you here. And I will see you in the next video.